Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I decided to head outside. There wasn't too much going on in the garage uh, that I wanted to check out. A lot of units that I have done before. But today, I'm going to do this Yukon. This is the 2022 Yukon 320RL made by Dutchman. It's a rear living floor plan and one that I think you're going to like. We're going to take you on about Probably about a 10 to 15 minute interior tour, you know, five minutes, couple minutes here on the outside, show you some things that I think are pretty cool. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. And first thing that I do want to point out on this, this is a wide body unit. So when you walk in, you're going to see there is a lot of interior space. It is 101 inches from wall to wall. So on the interior, you get probably about 97, 96, you know, inches because there obviously is there insulation there in the walls. Um, but 96 or so inches there, which is, you know, a ton of space. Definitely that wide body really comes through to show. But another thing I wanted to show you too is the Yukon is a full profile. So the 320 RL, typically you associate with being a shorter camper, you know, kind of that mid, mid-size, mid-profile. But you can see, you know, on this one right here, it runs flat all the way up the top. And what you're going to get is a lot more headspace there up in your bedroom. So these campers right here, just to show you kind of the comparison... They round down in the front. That's that mid profile. And what you're going to find is you either have a small closet up here, you know, like real small, or, you know, if you're like 6'3 or so, you're going to be hitting your head, uh, you know, when you get in there. Even somebody that's my size, six feet, and some of these campers, you do get a little cramped up. But just wanted to point that out. But now let's go ahead and get into the interior portion of this tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2022 Yukon 320RL. And if you guys find any value, um, you know, in these videos that I do for, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. The specifications and my contact information will be down in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead and check Sorry, this thing out. Could you say that again? My apologies. Ooh. I couldn't. Bumped my phone there. So as I was telling you, wide body construction, which comes in huge here, as you can see. You got a ton of walking space on either side of this island. This island is absolutely massive, but it does not make the area cramped. Full profile, so you see how tall it is in here. That allows you to have these nice, huge, wide, tall slides. Awesome feature. One, you get a lot of head clearance. Two, you have these beautiful, massive windows, so that way you can enjoy your campground. But you also get that amazing cross breeze, which you don't get in a lot of the brands. You know, every single one of these windows you know, are opening. These double up as the emergency exit. Uh, so you can pull and pop and you're jumping out, you know, in emergency. But just check out the size that this slide allows for this floor plan. I mean, I am six feet tall. Got, you know, I'm not standing on anything. I mean, check that out. So, I mean, that's probably darn near a seven foot tall slide. I mean, that that's absolutely amazing. So you get those nice tall windows again. You got your nightshade so you can get your Dracula on, block out the eyes of your nosy neighbors. You have this seating situation. Uh, you have a little dinette table right there. Or I'm sorry, you have the... Jeez, oh, Pete's. Your table and your four chairs, two of which are packed away. They're going to be in the storage or underneath the bed. We'll find that out here soon. This does have some storage there underneath that you can lift up, you know, and you're good to go. You also get... Some, um, some power theater seating. So each one of these is power. You can see the connection right there, you know, or right here. And they also come with a little USB port. Uh, I just have a battery plugged in. I'm not into power, so I'm going to go ahead and conserve that. But you get the idea. Thomas Paine collection, very comfortable RV brand. You've, if you've owned an RV before, you've probably sat in Thomas Paine or something like it. I think the decor on this camper is nice. I know there's going to be a lot of people that complain that it's darker. Uh, you know, everyone's going with that light and bright stuff. But I think if you're going dark, do it this way. I think it's really tasteful. I think it looks really nice. I mean, check that out. You know, just pretty nice looking, especially when you pair it up with those LED lights there underneath for, you know, at night. I know it's pretty bright in here now, but at night it puts down this really nice shine to it. It has a really nice glow. You get some outlets, all the countertops, they're solid surface, high residential faucet right there, doing dishes with ease. 
You got nice little lighting fixtures with some more accent lighting there up and around. Just a really slick looking unit. Ceiling fans, so you can keep that air circulating. And then you do have, you know, some storage there snuck up across the top, which is always nice. Again, there's nice high tall windows and another emergency exit window right out the back. This couch right here is a trifold. It pulls out to a true queen. So it'll come out to about right here, just enough to kind of squeak by and sit if you need to. But, you know, in a camper that's traditionally more towards a couple's coach, it is nice to have the ability to sleep a couple extra people. You're also going to notice you have shelves on either side. That way you can, you know, charge up your devices, put, you know, a drink there, a brewski, whatever it is that you're doing there. Two USBs and two outlets. Two USBs and two outlets. So that is pretty sweet. Up on the top, as you're going to see, you got that little glow. You have some more accent lighting. Let me open this up and kind of show you. This is all, you know, one piece. Goes through over the entire width of this back area, which is nice. Again, that wide body comes in clutch. When it comes in terms of the storage, it allows you just to get, you know, a couple extra inches. You know, I know it's only four, but uh, I think most people out there say an extra four inches isn't too bad. That's what she said. That's what she said. Got yourself a little skylight right there. Let's see if I can get the camera to pick up on that. Uh, that gets you the ability to, you know, get some airflow, all that good stuff. This Furion electric fireplace, which I do not have turned on right now. Uh, that thing has a setting for 100 degrees. It gets absolutely roasting in here. And a camper this size, that will save you propane. It'll heat this entire area, no problem. Honestly, if you left that, um, that door open there, that one propane or that one fireplace might actually heat this entire coach on a day, you know, where it's 50 degrees out or so. Couple more outlets right here. This is your IRV technologies. So zone one and two, that's gonna be inside, outside. Little HDMI port, uh, USB port. And then right here, you see up and down. That is for, you know, what a lot of people call the televator. So you got counter space right now, or you can lift this bad boy up put yourself into movie mode. And as you can see, there is that window behind. So when you're not watching TV, you do get a little bit more natural light. So I love how they put that there. So that way, you know, you sneak an extra window, sneak another little, little viewpoint for your camper. It does take a little while, but it's nice to have. It's nice to have for sure. Again, this slide on the kitchen side and your entertainment you got plenty of space here, nice, tall, wide, more storage, which again, this goes from here to there. They are using the Insignia oven, which I just love. If you guys have watched any of my previous videos here, the Insignia, it is large enough to cook a turkey and you got the four stove top burner so you can make all the fixings right there for quite literally a Thanksgiving dinner on the road, which I think is pretty cool. Your high point microwave. Yeah, pretty fancy. Right there, you got a little place to put some wine bottles, maybe some liquor bottles, whatever it is that you drink. Maybe water bottles if you're one of those folks. I like how they put the detail right in this into the... Uh, to the cabinetry, to that window space. I think that's looking pretty nice. And then this island. Again, you do have accent lighting here on this side. You're also gonna see it is stacked full of a absolute ton of storage. And that goes to the fact that it is wide and it is long. So that is awesome to have. You got four of these bad boys. I'm gonna show you one. I think you guys get the idea of what the, uh, the other three look like. Little pull out there with a couple trash cans. Double bowl stainless steel again. Solid surface. Some access to the plumbing and an absolute mammoth space for storage there as well. And that makes it one of the best islands 
in the game, baby. Your Samsung refrigerator won't open that up. We all know what a refrigerator is. This one happens to be a very, very large one. Uh, one of the industry's largest, that's Samsung. You know, it's nicer than the one that I've got, you know, in my house. So that's pretty nice. Pretty slick to have that. Got that little bad boy for some decor. Other than that, I'm not sure why they put it there, but, uh, you know, you got that. That's nice. Really nice size pantry. And what I like about this, too, is these are removable. So they're pretty sturdy, you know, when they're down. You know, but you can lift it up and lift it out. And that gives you the ability to put in a washer and dryer right out here in this main room. So it doesn't have to be stuffed in your bedroom. That is nice. That is pretty darn unique to the RV industry. I've been selling these things for, heck, I don't know. I'd give it about, give it about nine years in the game. But um, that is pretty cool. I have not seen that one before. Now, right here, this is where I would put my little coffee bar, my drink station, you know, maybe a blender if you're having one of those nights. But this is pretty sweet. So you got this little nook right here. Again, solid surface countertops. Give you a good little view of the, uh, of the drawers. Bada bang. Bada boom. So lots of storage there. You get the idea. Up top, more storage. And you can kind of see the glow in between these two lights. There is some accent lighting there up and above. So I love that. They're doing a really good job on lighting up this camper. You know, even though it's got that darker decor, it has the light furniture, a ton of accent lighting. That is looking nice. You know, you got the ceiling fan, the island. I think this is just an absolute winner of a camper for sure. All right, right here, you got the steps. So you got, you know, basically three steps to go up in. Your fuse box, if anything blows. This is going to be your Dometic where you control, you know, your heat and your AC. This is where you control all the other fun stuff inside your camper. So your heated tanks, this is a Four Seasons camper. So it's going to be a little bit insulated better, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But it's got the batten insulation, so very similar to that of your home. Gets down to really, really chilly weather before you have to worry about skirting it, you know, which is a massive plus. Water pump, electric heater, gas, yada, yada, yada. I can bore you all day over this stuff. The Max Air, which is going to be, you know, for right there. Close up that vent. This is going to be a dimmer for, let's see here. Well, you can't really tell. I don't think the camera, yeah, the camera's picking it up. So that dims that out. So while you guys are chilling outside, you know, you can dim it up or, or brighten it up depending on what the mood's like. Two doors, bathroom, bedroom. I love this bedroom. I think it's looking very nice. It's utilizing the space here without taking up too much. You got these nice little cubbies. You got right there another Max Air vent. Uh, so that's nice keeping the air flowing. Stainless steel, you got this little bowl, looking fancy. I don't know what kind of bowl they call that, but uh, yeah, it's that, the pink stuff in there. If you're not familiar, that's going to be the antifreeze. And if you guys have made it this far, if you guys don't mind hitting that like and subscribe, maybe drop a comment and say hi, whatever you can do to help me out. I'd appreciate it. Little skylight, nice shower, one piece fiberglass shower, which is very nice. It's the correct, the proper way to do it. You see a lot that they're having those split bottoms. Split bottoms just mean a little bit more problems. So I love to see the one-piece fiberglass in this camper. I know there's two doors, but we'll go ahead and go through this one, the bedroom door. So separate access from the bedroom. So if you want to block off your guests, you got a pocket door right here. Sharp looking bedroom. I mean, this is just nice. You got an absolute ton of storage in here. You also... You notice that's up on the hinge there, hands-free. There are your other two chairs there for that table. Now, as far as the storage, you got this dresser configuration. configuration blah, 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 right here. Bada bing, bada boom. You got a ton of those. Looks like about nine. Nice little closet space. So you can do put some of your hanging clothes. They also have, you know, those bad boys right there and some lighting that's up inside. So that's pretty handy to have. 
I like this feature a lot. This right here would be your hamper. So, you know, you put a couple bags in there, bada bing, bada boom. Life is getting easy on the road. And if you add that washer and dryer out there in that main living area, you know, you guys are ready to go for some serious extended trip roonies. Window here in the bed. It's another emergency exit. So just pop, pop, and push. You guys are out or lift it up for a nice little cross breeze. Another dresser in for more stuff. Every camper in the world just has more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Counter right there. Outlets and USBs. You're also going to see you got outlets for your TV as well as your, you know, your cable and your satellite all on the key TV, which is a really nice feature to have. If you guys are not familiar with that, I'm not going to get into that here on this video, um, but you should check that out. You know, go to Keystone's website, Dutchman's website, see what key TV is all about. It is pretty handy, really helps cut down on some of the maintenance. It makes life easier uh, in general. Everything's really nice and color coded. You can put uh, 4G LTE Wi-Fi right there. You scan that little bad boy. I'll sign you up for some uh, some service. But again, this was the 2022 Yukon 320RL. I think we about wrapped up the inside portion of this tour. Uh, so now we'll head around on the outside. I'll give you one more view you know, of it from down here. So pull out sofa, recliners, absolutely gargantuan slides here tall wide deep one of the longest islands a man's ever seen televator fireplace largest oven in the industry largest refrigerator in the industry a nice pantry lights everywhere you got yourself a fan just a beautiful camper and if you guys are curious about the price on this camper uh, my cell phone will be in the description or my text line, I so I should say rather. Uh, but yeah, just shoot me over a text. You know, I'd love to uh, love to help you. So now let's head around back up on the front. You have LED lights that run down each side and in the front. I do not have those on here at the moment since it's, it's daytime. You just don't get the same value out of them. Uh, but those are there. You have the More Ride Rotaflex pin box. So what's nice about this is while you're driving, this actually kind of pivots, gives you a little bit more room for that, uh, you know, that chucking and bucking, that starting and stopping. You're good to go right there. Plenty of storage with a spare tire. Now this camper has the electric auto leveling. Your larger Yukons, you know, will will get the uh, hydraulic auto leveling. You know, if you go with the with the real big boy. Uh, but so these are electric auto level, more than enough power and quality for everything that you would need there. This camper does have solar up on the top, I believe. And if it does not, it is an option, but you can also plug in the portable right here up to 20 amps to help trickle charge your battery. You get that on solaronthesidecom Propane tanks right here. This is where things get interesting. You know, all the Yukons, at least all the Yukons that I've grabbed so far, uh, have these more ride slide trays. And these things are awesome. Man, I got a sneeze just right on the edge. Man, but these things are absolutely awesome. Um, you know, you just simply grab this, pull it out. This thing can hold up to 800 pounds, believe it or not. So that is just too cool for school. In my opinion, the fact that you can put 800 pounds in this and all the stuff that you would usually just shove in the middle and forget about and just all of a sudden you have that aha moment when you go to sell the camper. I can't believe this is still in here. That's the stuff that you can now reach. So you eliminate that. So that is pretty darn handy. Looks like you got an inverter in there. You have more LED lights. This is going to be where the docking stations and the cap lights. This is going to be your LED lights right there. So you see how nice and bright that is in the storage. Imagine at night getting to a campground nice and late. Those are going to save the day. One thing I do love about this Dutchman Voltage or Dutchman uh, Yukon Voltage is the same way. Actually, I'm glad I said that is you actually have the frame. You'll see it's welded on every point of contact. Uh, so that is a huge plus. Most of them are kind of screwed together. Uh, this, you know, they go the extra mile here on this. The fact that they're all welded, heck, some of them are even just wood, um, which is, you know, asinine to me. 
You can even see some of that, some of that foil right there, but everything is very, very well insulated. You can hear how you know sturdy that is. They're not skimping out. They want you to use this for cold weather. These are also going to be slam latch doors. And you notice those are not plastic, that is metal. It's hard to hear the sound, but um, you know, you could launch this thing down and slam it and you're good. You know, even stuff like that, that's stuff that you don't think about. Your solar charge controller. Some outlets right here, so that way you can plug in a TV. You'll also see that you have your outside speakers right there and there. Nice size awning. The size of the awning will be down in the description of the camper. Another thing that I like, and this is, um, at this point, maybe not too point out worthy, but these step above steps, having these nice steps here, you know, some of your brands, most of them are going away from it towards this, um, but they're not those flimsy old steps of the past that kind of bump around, they get rusty, you throw them in there, they're hard to get out, you got to grease them, you know, all that. I mean, these are just extremely sturdy. They also got, you know, that sandpaper, you know, tape just for some extra stability and maybe some of that inclement weather. They also have the extra large grab handle, which I like. You know, you're on that first step. Unless you are a giant, you know, you cannot reach that. But this is nice. So you can grab that, you know, really no matter how tall that you are. They also have a little 1,500-pound tie-down right here, you know, which is nice. You can put your little doggo up there while you're chilling if you guys need it. Dual axle. Second awning. And those, even though I got dirty on the drive down, that is going to be your more ride suspension. So a nicer suspension system that also has your, um, your brakes that auto adjust, which is, you know, very handy, really nice. They're still putting the yeah, the um, Chizo Pete's. I'm having a rough one talking today. Still got the ladder on the back. A lot of brands are going away from it. They're saying it's a COVID shortage. I think it's just an expense they can cut out in the disguise of COVID. But Yukon is having no problems on getting those. So you do have a ladder. Again, full profile, so nice and flat all the way, as you can see. You know, multiple uh, multiple ACs, which that's right there, the top of the two ACs on that one. Uh, but, you know, that's nice, the fact that you can walk up there and there's no sloping anything of that nature you have a hitch here on the back so you know whether it's for extra storage or you know bike rack you know whatever it is that you want to put on there makes it real nice and easy these slides are are not prepped i'm sorry they have the ability to put on the slide toppers which connect from here to here really help you out you know with any debris while you're driving down the road you can um not driving down the road blah when you're parked at a campground, you know, a tree's above you, tree branch falls there, you pull that slide in, crunches right into that seal, and uh, you know, it ruins your day, man. It gives you a big bummer of a, big bummer of a, of a leak ski. Fresh water connection, this is where you're gonna plug in the camper. These are the seals that I'm talking about. You know, you get a tree branch, and it shoves up underneath there. You know, you can see that gap that it makes. You're not going to have a good day. That slide topper really prevents that from happening. On the alternative, eh, you just climb up there and, you know, you make sure you brush it off and make sure there's nothing on there to do that. It's also got prepped for the backup camera, which is nice. So for $550, you can get a Furion observation camera. That's $550 installed. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, uh, RV Nation out here in Ohio. You know, we would love to have your business on this. I know our pricing is right. That's 550 bucks installed for the Furion observation camera. Such a nice feature to have. You just suction cup the, um, the screen up on your dashboard and you can drive around while seeing what's going on behind you. So that is, you know, it's really nice. It's really handy. This thing isn't small by any means. So it's nice to have, you know, that feature, that security. Back end of the water heater. And this is going to be your docking station. Um, so, you know, all your good stuff, your city water connection where you can winterize it, gray tank, black tank, hot water bypass, winterization system, a couple plug-ins, you know, all that in one area. And then you got this part where you can kind of screw that out if you got to put a hose, you know, up there. That way you can keep everything flush and not have to leave uh, this door open. 
Electric auto leveling is going to be right here. So click of a button, you can level it. You know, another click of a button, it can remember, um, you know, where you, uh, where you pulled away the truck from, that distance. So that's nice. I just want to show you this too. Real sturdy. Not every brand can say that. Some of them are kind of flex. They also are going to do the sides. You know, it's something that you're going to get here with the Yukon and a couple other, multiple other brands here uh, that I sell. But again, my name is Hunter. This is the 2022 Yukon 320RL. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you guys made it this far, hit that like, subscribe, drop a comment, say hi. I would love to hear from you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.